I see it's uh, June 16th, I believe. I wanted to show you this. If you remember, this is that tomato that I had that was looking real yellow and anemic and looking like hell. And uh, a little bit of Epsom salts and brought its color right back. You can still see just a little bit of yellow there on the tip there, but that whole plant was like that for a long time. So don't take much. Just a little bit of Epsom salts and water. And all it needs is a little magnesium. It'll green them right up. So a little tip for you if you got plants that are kind of yellowish, and especially tomatoes, give them a little taste of Epsom salt. Uh, tied up my plants here a little bit today. Caged that one down in the end. It was ready. Those guys there aren't quite ready yet. This guy here, I'm not sure what to do with this guy. Boy, he's going to be at top of the stake before the end of the month, I'm afraid. But it's really growing well. I've done something right with this guy. And you can see, here's that first string of blossoms there, and it just keeps putting more and more out there on the end of it. I don't know how far it'll go. And uh, that's the second tier of blossoms there. And the third one up at the top there of blossoms. I think all of them, well, maybe not. I said that too quick. This has got some blossoms on it. Starting. I thought they all did, but could be wrong. My uh, boxcar Willie has got a blossom on it there. Give it a little pollinization there. So maybe we'll get some boxcar Willies. Still no zucchini, except for the one there on the end. Amazing. I just I can't believe no zucchini down through there. Must not have been very good seed or something. Oh, I can figure. Everything else is growing good. Yeah, I think these tomatoes will start looking a little better now that I got them tied up and they're not flopping around in the wind so bad. Give them a chance to grow straight instead of flopping around on the ground. That's one good looking tomato plant right there. Show you my peppers over here growing. There's one there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all them or not, but there's two down in there. A little guy on the top there starting. This guy over here has got a couple down in there just getting started so we've got peppers growing I don't have any chilies though I see some blossoms down in there but uh, I don't really see any chili peppers started yet oh here's a here's one started. Just a little guy. He probably could do with a little bit of pruning maybe. My uh, watermelon bloomed again this morning. Right there. I'm trying to see how much that thing is growing. Okay, so Here's how much it's grown since I put it in the garden here, because right here is the staple that I put in the ground right there. And that was right at the very tip of it. So it's grown, oh, maybe a foot out there. We'll keep from stepping on it. And again, I got these two growing tips here headed out there. To, I'm not sure where it's going, but this guy here. A little growing tip there going. I don't know if we're getting watermelons or not. Hey, I found one of my peas. 
I bet that must have been that one I dug up. See that guy out there in the middle of the aisle way there? That sure looks like a pea to me. I could be wrong, but it sure looks like it. I found a, I've seen a couple more peas that, are, that have come up today. There's a little guy right there. And there's this guy here. One there. Got a little guy there that's come up. He came up a couple days ago, I guess. A robin egg out there in the middle of my garden. All right. Well, look at that big weed over there. Holy cow. Uh oh, that's a thistle. I'm not going to be able to pull that. I don't have my gloves on me. Well, I better go get the tore it on for that guy. Boy, cut him off and tore it on him so he doesn't come back. And my peas. Snow peas, that is. Alright, well. I'd say that's about enough. We'll see you guys later.